Dog lovers are well aware of the things one should do with the dog. But do you know the things you should never do with your dog? Especially with a Borbor. In today's video, I made a list of the points you should know. Here we go, at the top of the class on a roll. And it's time to run it up, yeah you know. Maxed out, put the pedal to the flow. Hey, on a roll, here we go, here we go. Number one, anthropomorphize. Anthropomorphize means the attribution of human characteristics, emotions, and behaviors to animals or other non-human things. Some famous examples of anthropomorphism include Winnie the Pooh, Mickey Mouse, and almost all of the Disney characters. Going back to reality, we tend to love our dogs as we love our children and treat them as such. Unfortunately, this can be detrimental to your dog. There's an old saying that goes something like this. Beware, if you treat your dog like a human, don't be surprised if they treat you like a dog. It's important to remember that dogs need leadership and to treat them as a human is actually mistreating them. You must remember to treat dogs as the species that they really are. In the dog pack, there are two roles, the role of a leader and the role of a follower. These roles should be clearly established when you are the borble owner. Number two, improper collar placement. Dogs love walks and it's easy to see why. Walks provide exercise and mental stimulation. However, a walk without the proper equipment can be frustrating for both the dog and the walker and it can even be dangerous. Improper placement of collars can cause pain and discomfort to the dogs. It encourages them to pull. Moreover, warbles are powerful and we don't want them to pull us over or drag us when they become excited. In general, they are a muscular breed. The collar allows us to communicate to our dogs effectively. It also performs a function of ownership and shows the dog which belongs to someone and which are strays. The collar should be placed high around the dog's throat. Proper placement allows us to communicate to the dog better. Number three, never encourage aggressive behavior. Because the Borbo is a dominant breed, they tend to be more aggressive naturally. This is something that we do not want to encourage. If your dog frequently growls, snaps, or bites, you may have an aggression problem on your hands. One of the most common reasons dog owners seek the assistance of a professional dog trainer or animal behaviorist is aggression. And it's not just larger dogs or so-called dangerous breeds that can become aggressive. Any breed can become aggressive under the right circumstances. Aggressive behavior usually begins as a warning, but it can eventually lead to an attack, which is why training an aggressive dog is so important. Number four, excessive praising of the dog. Praise should be a form of a reward for your warble, and it should always be earned. Praise should follow a desired action, and the amount should match the monument of the task. If you praise everything, then it becomes the norm. You are no longer actually praising anything. Affection is a very important part of the bond between the dog and the human. But it should be measured. A dog should not be able to force you to praise them. Number five, never overwork your warble. Overheating dogs is not to be taken lightly. Heat exhaustion in dogs can result in life-threatening conditions such as heat stroke and cardiac arrest. This doesn't just apply with warbles, but to all the dogs. Dogs, unlike humans, do not sweat excess body heat. While your dog's paws contain a few sweat glands, they do little to help regulate body temperature. Instead, dogs pant, which is defined as rapid open mouth breathing. However, panting alone isn't always enough to keep them cool. Pay attention to the signs your dog is getting exhausted because horribles are prone to overheating. Number six, never forget the boundaries. As the leader of the pack, the dog must know and respect limits. We have our personal space, and the dog should not be allowed to just invade our space. There are certain rules to the pack. In a healthy pack, the leader establishes those rules. Part of those rules are boundaries. For example, your dog must know your space. You must take your role as a leader. Your dog must know how to wait. Things like that. Comment down below if you want me to create a video about setting boundaries next episode. Number seven, failure to correct improper behavior. This goes hand in hand with establishing boundaries. We never encourage you to physically hit a dog or kick a borble because they have a high tolerance for pain and it's just brutal. But we must make them understand that certain behaviors would not be tolerated. Pancake. Pancake. And we do this by making them uncomfortable. I prefer to use a training collar for this. A properly placed training collar to correct undesired behaviors. 
Never punish your dog out of anger. Don't throw things, jab, punch, or kick your dog. The best method is using unpleasant stimulus to make the dog uncomfortable. Timing is going to be very important. You want to discipline or make the dog associate the undesirable behavior with the correction. Pop, 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 pop,